Hey everybody, welcome back to my rogue tech campaign. We're sitting at Sirkinis still, um, once part of the Sirkinis Federation, now taken over by House Steiner. Uh, we are in the uh, ed on the edge of the periphery here. Um, so in the last episode, we were fortunate enough to pick up a couple of more medium mechs, which was awesome. So now we've expanded our our um, mech bay now to three mediums and one light mech. Uh, we're waiting for the Vindicator and Hunchback to come back right now from uh, the initial repairs. And then what we're going to do, I think just this episode, we'll be uh, outfitting them. So let's have a quick look at what's going on here in the wars, if there's anything happening in the Circinus Federation here at all. Um, doesn't look like it. They are fighting, but doesn't look like any worlds have changed hands. Lyrian, uh, Lyrian Commonwealth took Circinus Federation from Circinus Federation, so that's the planet we're sitting on. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Okay, so let's get through this here. One more day till we get our mechs back. All right. So we don't have a lot of cash. We're going to need to sell some stuff, I think, to get these guys up to snuff. Let's have a look at our mech bays. Um, so we have one double heatsink kit, and that's it, which I think we're going to put in the Pirate Vindicator. Now, this Vindicator is going to be an upgrade for our initial um, Panther that we had, which had the Clan ERPPC on it. And it also had an ER, I think it was a Clan ER medium laser on it. Um, so we're going to throw in, actually we're not going to put these in, we're going to put in the arm weapon pluses here to give us bonus to hit uh, because what we're planning on doing I think with this guy actually was put in our replace our cockpit too because we know we're going to be using that one um, what we're planning on doing with this guy is making an attempt at not only putting in one clan ERPPC but maybe dropping a second one in the other arm now that's a lot of heat um, that's 90 heat so we're going to have to find a way to mitigate that as best we can now but um, that's, I think, what we're going to do. Now, I do have a, a PPC capacitor that would take up the heat from 90 to 108 if we decide to go that route. So I don't know if we can actually mitigate that much heat. Now, the other thing, too, is we could take this other PPC that we have here um, that increases the stability damage and is a little less has a little less heat on it which is 35 so if we put this one together with this guy that's what 80 heat 96 heat so it's still a lot of heat we need to mitigate somehow um, so I'm gonna attempt to do it this way first these PPCs weigh one ton less each which is great um, so we're gonna try this way first so let's go to our equipment now we need to drop an engine in and I believe we had a, fu a 200 fusion core Last time, I think I want to drop it a little lower. Now this mech is not going to need to do a lot of high-level maneuvering. Although if I do drop it lower, I need to have, at least if we go this way, we need four double heat sinks. And I don't think we do. We've only got two. So we're going to need to have an engine that's up to minus 24 heat here. Actually, we need three for this one. We need, no, we need four for this one. We need two for this one. So we're going to put the 200 back in, I guess. That's the only way we can do this. So we're going to put our double heat sink kit in. And we're going to drop our two double heat sinks in. Alright, so that brings us to 43.25 tons. Now, we really need to find a way to get this lowered. So we're going to put our Clan XL engine in. We don't have to worry about our torso being, like, dying by our torso being destroyed. So that's good. Um, we're going to save the, the extra light engine for the hunchback. Now we're going to go in here, we're going to go down and we're going to grab regular endo steel. We don't need the clan endo steel because we're not going to be filling this up with a lot of stuff. We're going to want to put our um, TTS back in, the plus three energy, which is great. So now we've got plus three for each arm and then uh, plus three for the TTS. So each of these guys will be plus six to hit, which is awesome. Um, still need to get a lot of heat sinking going here. Uh, we may drop the ferro fibers in. I'm not 100% sure yet, but let's just leave that for now. There's the option to drop an ECM warfare suite in and a gyro here. We can use a gyro, I think. Let's use the uh, ultralight gyro maybe because um, we are going to need a lot of heat sinking. So that gives us almost 10 tons. 
So we got what? Heat sinking 90, alpha, so 60, so not bad so far. Um, let's look, first of all, let's go to the store. And I think we're going to see, I think they've got exchangers in here, if I, would, if I remember correctly, or do they? No, they don't. So that's an issue. Um, heat banks, though. Still, though, that heat bank's not going to really give us much. Maximum overheat is nice, but it's still not going to give us a whole lot. Um, so there really isn't anything in the store we can buy. I'm just going to sell a couple things real quick. Well, actually, you know what? Forget it. We're going to go. We're going to leave here. We're going to need money at some point, but I'll sell some stuff before we do the uh, hunchback. So. Boy, now we're going to need to find a way to heat sink this guy up. So I'm thinking that we just start dropping heat sinks in. Um, let's drop the ECM Warfare suite in as well. Um, we're going to do that, and then we'll start dropping heat sinks. Now the Warfare suite I want in because this guy's not going to really be moving around a whole lot. Um, the other way, uh, the other thing we can do too is we have the um, this guy here that grants bulwark. So I think we're going to drop that in as well. So this guy's going to be a stable PP, PPC firing platform. So now we're going to go to oops, equipment, heat sinks. We're going to go and just start dropping heat sinks in here because we are definitely going to need them. Not sure how many we can get in here. Another two more for sure. One, two. And then I think we, if we could take a little bit of armor off. So we're at 78. Actually, that's not bad. We can't get the PPC capacitor in, unfortunately, but if we can get some exchangers, we'll definitely be able to drop that in. So we got to take a quarter ton of armor off, um, and I think I'm just going to go... If we're staying at range, we don't really have to worry about our back too much. So one, two, three, four. I say that now, but watch me lose my back in one of the next <laughs> next episodes. So we're going to do that. Um, so it's pretty good, 81, 90, not bad. It, I mean, we're on a hot planet right now, so it's going to be tough. But on a regular regular planet, I think we'll probably be okay. Firepower has only marginally gone up from our last mech. Um, but once again, this is going to be a platform that once we get exchangers and stuff, will be an ex a platform that we'll be able to expand a little bit. We'll be able to get the PPC capacitor in there and maybe a, another laser or something. So let's confirm this. 15 days, not bad, 57,000. That's pretty good. So let's have a look at our hunchback now. So the hunchback's got a few stuff, a few things on it, a few stuffs. Got a few stuffs on it. Um, has a few things left here. So um, let's put an arm in. Still got the engine, the 200 engine. So I mean, one thing we can do with this guy is we can put a bigger engine in, give him a bit more mobility, um, rather than making him. Uh, a heavy assault platform. Let's get some endo steel in here. Actually, I'm thinking probably well, let's leave that endo steel. Uh, we probably want to go a ballistic route on this guy, so I'm going to put a ballistic uh, tracking, targeting tracking system in the head here. Uh, we need a cockpit, and I think we've only got one left. Yeah, it's the slick sweep, but we're going to drop it in because it's nice to have that little bit of extra in there. Um, reflective armor, energy resistance. Uh, I think he's probably okay without that. Um, we can increase the fusion core slightly to a 255. How much? That's going to be 220. And this speed is going to be 200. So it's not that big of a deal, but it will be adding two tons. So let's leave it as we have it here. Um, now we need to add two heat sinks to balance that engine out. So we'll put two heat sinks in. And now we can start adding weaponry. We've only got 13 tons left, uh, but we're going to pull these out first. So now we've got. 25 tons left. So let's have a look at our weapons here. So we've got an AC-10, Crit and Stability Extra, AC-10 Ultra, Clan AC-10 Ultra, which I think is probably the one I'm leaning towards dropping in, and an AC-5 Ultra. Um, let's just have a look at our ballistics. I think do we have we've got a Gauss Mag Shot. Um, no Gauss Rifles or anything. Machine Gun Arrays. Uh, so we can either go for a, a ranged platform, but I'm not sure if we want to do that with this guy, only because um, our trebuchet and our vindicator are both ranged platforms. Um, so I'm like, thinking something more along the line of medium range platform. So max 600 here, the range on this guy, max 510. I think we can probably go with an ultra 10 
as the main weapon here. Um, now we can't use precision ammo or anything, so we're going to need to buy some AC ammo. We're going to pull the heat sinks out of the legs, I think, and then we're going to need to buy two more tons of AC ammo for sure. Um, and then we have to start thinking about what we're going to add is secondary systems. So where's our AC-10 ammo? Here we go. Unfortunately, we can't use precision ammo with the uh, AC-10 Ultra, but that's okay. If we find the Ultra is not working, we can just drop a regular AC-10 in. I mean, it's a little bit more weight, but we can take some uh, tonnage out from ammo. Um, so it'll balance itself out a little bit. So, okay. So we got that's going to give us 12 rounds of double rated fire, which is fine for the missions we're going to be doing right now. We may want to add more later, but uh, probably not. Um, so now secondary systems we need to start thinking about. We're also going to have to start worrying about heat at some point because right now we're at 24. So secondary systems, we can go with lasers. We've got one, two, what do we got? Five laser hard points and two missile hard points. So let's see what we have missile wise that we can add in here. Um, I'm thinking SRMs. We've got a streak four which will give us some good accuracy in a streak 2. So that's 1.5 tons and 3 tons. So that's 4.5 tons. Let's drop those in. Um, just because we want some accuracy. Or we could just use the streak 4 and the SRM 6. But we're going to need a lot of more tons for heat sinking. So let's go the streak 4 and the streak 2. Go this route. Um, and then we need a ton of ammo. Also going this road too, we'll have better, uh, less ammo consumption, which means this will be able to fire for, for longer. So ammo SRM, drop that in the leg. Um, we're going to add a half a ton of armor. So a little bit to the legs, a little bit to the back, just for now. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll take a couple of points off the center torso front and put it to the back, because we're going to be in close, in closer with this guy. Um, I, I'm adding, I know we don't get hit in the leg an awful lot, but with this much ammo in the legs, I'm, I want to get that ammo up as much as I can. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is just add some heat sinks. And it just doesn't look like a whole lot. Um, we don't really have a whole lot going on in here right now. Um, so it would be six heat sinks that we would add, but what, what's our heat right now? So we could add, like what, one, two, maybe we do retire the streak and go with the uh, regular SRM because right now we're lacking a lot of punch however it is much better than the old panther that we had okay what else can we do here let's have another look because maybe the ultra 10 is not the way to go so for missile systems if we go missile boat on this guy I mean we've already got one but we've got a pirate LRM 15 bonus overheat damage Oh, that's an LRM-5, sorry. So that's not any good. We do have an LRM-20 we could drop in. Do we really want an LRM-20? It's not really going to give us that much. Uh, we do have an Artemis system, although, so we could build it with Artemis. Um, plus 2M uh, accuracy and 100% crits. And then we do have the missile, the uh, Artemis system we could add in. So let's have a quick look at that build. Um, so we're going to pull these missile launchers out and the two heat sinks that we dropped in already. And we're going to try an LRM-20 build here. So let's drop the LRM-20 in. So the, the heat sinking on this guy is 18, so that's not bad. We're going to take out the AC ammo. And we're definitely going to need at least two tons. So how much does this ha have weapon? 140 rounds, so that's perfect. So we're going to put two tons of LRM ammo in. We'll put one on each leg. Um, so that should let us fire for, that's what, 7 and 6 is 13 rounds of firing, which is good. And we're going to go to equipment, we're going to take the ballistic targeting system out and add the Artemis in, which needs to go in the torso, I guess, as well. Um, we have a bonus indirect, but I don't think we really need the extra indirect fire. Um, we're not going to be firing indirect really with this guy. It'll be direct fire weapon. So we'll leave it as that. So now we can start thinking about other weapon systems that we can add here. Now we could add, if you go to missile systems, we do have another LRM-10 that we can add. Um, but at five tons, I think that's pretty much all we, we would be able to add. 
and LRM-10 at 40 damage for 5 tons is not really the way to go, I don't think. We could add a TBM-10. It's 6 tons and does 40 damage, but it's pinpoint. So that's a possibility. Um, the other thing is we could add the... Uh, if we go to Ballistic, we could add the Ultra-5. Oops, wrong one. Here we go. We could add the Ultra-5 autocannon, which is 9 tons, and a ton of... A couple, we'd need 2 tons of ammo, so that's 11 tons. And that would bring us up to max. That doubles our damage, 40-40. Now, laser system-wise, what do we have here? We got a large laser, 30 heat, 55 damage for 5 tons, but it's got accuracy and evasion ignore, so that's a bonus. Let's think about dropping that in for now. We'll put that in the arm for now. Um, we're going to need a little bit of heat sinking, but not much for that. And then we've got another 6.5 tons left. Um, we could, instead of that large laser, though, drop a PPC in. But right now we're looking for a more close-in build, so the PPC... I mean, the extra stability damage, though, on that thing? 32.5 stability damage compared to 9.1 for this. Um, that's a possibility still. But then we're down to an LRM-20 and, and a Triple Plus PPC, and we said we weren't building a long-range platform. But maybe for now, or we could go the medium pulse route. But this is a hunchback, right? So really it's designed to deal out heavy damage. So the LRM-20 max damage right now, um, with plus four chance to hit, which is awesome, um, is 80 damage. If we add the PPC, it'll be 145 damage. And we could add the PPC capacitor. which would increase the damage by, let's see, 6.5, plus another 3.25 is 9.25, so another 10 points, so 75 damage, 74, 75 damage. Hmm. We're lacking a lot of small weapons. We'd be relying a lot on big hits. But we do have the accuracy. I mean, that's the one thing we do have is accuracy. So, I mean, we could go with an ER build too, right? Like two clan ER. Well, we've got two clan ER large lasers. But it's less accuracy because we've got the accuracy and evasion ignore on this guy. It's almost the same damage for less heat. Maximum range, 1,000 meters, though. It's the max on this guy, 510. But we don't really usually engage people from across the map, though. That's the thing. It's a bonus for the enemy where they've got so many mechs, but not really for us. Um, flamers, no, we're going to stay away from that. So yeah, I am going to try. I know we weren't going to go this route, but I think I'm going to have to with this guy for now. Until we get some more, um, some more equipment that we can offset this with. I don't think I can go with a PPC capacitor because we're not going to be able to fire both of our weapons. We can add ferrofibrous. That'll add a bit. We can take out the regular endo steel and put in our clan endo steel, which we do have some of still. I like to keep a stockpile of this stuff lying around because you never know when you're going to need it. So you don't need those, but we can drop a PPC capacitor in. So now we're looking at plus 20% heat to this is another 7, so it's 42, is 50 heat. And we've got 4 tons really to play with. So if we add just 4 heat sinks, let's say. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're still not really close to where we should be. We're still on a hot planet. I'm thinking maybe we, we leave here. So let's pull... Ugh. Let's pull some armor off that we had added. I'll leave the back armor, I think. Jeez, this is a tough one. One. No. Legs or torso? Oh, back, maybe. Two, three. One more ton for another heat sink. Okay, we really need exchangers now. So... 45, 53 heat. 53, I think, is... Is that accurate or inaccurate? 
what did we say we needed? 60, right? Was it? 35, 42, plus 18 is 60. Yeah, so this would be 60 heat and 45. So I'm going to confirm this. It's 14 days to, to do this. Um, I'll let you know when that's done. So let's find a planet to travel to. Um, command center contracts. Do we have one that's in within 15 days or so? Supply bay mission, 20, 17 days. We'd have to drop when we got there, though. But it is only a two-skull mission. So that would be an option. Um, but let's figure out here. Let's have a look at the star map. So what we're going to do is we're going to end it once we get these mechs fixed. This is just going to be a, this episode will just be a quick... Uh, um, Oh, so this is Free Worlds League and Lyran Commonwealth, so we can flip this world. What are we at here? Free Worlds League 10, Sirkinus 26. So let's go here first. We need we need time. What about this world here? Free Worlds League 50, 41, 59. So let's go, how long is this? 11 days. Cirillo. So let's go here. It looks like they've got some manufacturing. It looks like there's a lot of good stuff on this planet. So let's travel there. Because while we're there, we might be able to flip it to House Merrick. Now, I'm hoping we find something good in the store. I'd love to find an exchanger. Even just a basic level one exchanger will, will really help out, especially with the hunchback. Although I don't think, I'd like to keep the Vindicator a priority for heat sinking, because being able to fire both of those both of those ER PPCs and maybe adding a PPC capacitor, like two pinpoint 92 point damage weapons would be really nice. While pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Flatliner. He's fiddling with a stock auto cannon, a jumbled pile of loose metal and wires littered the deck plating around him. As you approach, Flatliner looks up, a sheepish grin on his face. Uh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this beauty. Maybe get a little bit more performance out of her. Could you do me a favor and keep this from the Chief, though? He's already shooed me out of here once this week. Uh. Well, you know what? In real life, I would tell him that it's not his job, but I'm going to try and see what he can do with that uh, auto cannon. Uh-oh. I lost an AC-5. <laughs> I suppose that was... That was in storage for a reason, so we can afford to lose it if things go wrong. Just be careful. These weapons are meant to destroy mechs, after all. Later that week, Flatliner catches you in the hall, but doesn't look you in the eyes. Commander, I'm sorry to report that I wasn't able to modify that weapon like I wanted to, and um, he struggles to continue. I wasn't able to put it back together again. I already told Chief, and he raked me over the coals. No more than I deserve, though. So he lost an AC-5, and he's got low spirits. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. At least it was a stock AC-5. Alright, let's find out what they got here. Looking forward to uh, getting these medium mechs into a battle. Alright, so we're at 54,000, so we definitely need some good cash here. So AC-10 triple plus, what's this? Crit and stability. Um, Warhammer parts, Banshee parts, look at that, crazy. We don't have the cash, unfortunately. Pulse lasers, LRMs, PPCs, all stock stuff, double plus SRM6. What is this? Plus four damage? That would have been nice to have when we were putting our hunchback together, but no such luck. Heat banks, still the same one, nothing else. All right, LFT. What is this again? Was that light ammo or something? Stabil extra stability damage? What is low live fire? Right. Um, yeah. Alright, so it looks like that's it. We're going to sell some stuff here. We really need to get rid of the junk that we are not going to be using. So i got to hang on to these guys. Um, the Gauss Magshot, as much as I like the idea of the Gauss Magshot for the weight and the heat, and the damage, the 10 rounds of firing, and the fact that most of the time I use this, it's missing all the time. I'm just going to sell it. Uh, vehicle flamers. 
uh, let's hang on to those for now. The two large lasers, we're not going to need these. We've got a bonus large laser that we've got and clan large lasers. Let's get rid of the pirate medium because uh, we can get some good money from these. Pirate ER medium. I don't like the ver the idea of the variable damage and the additional heat. Oh, we got a couple of those guys. So let's sell both of them. Um, pirate smalls, so it's the same thing. Just get rid of those. I like things to be reliable so I know what damage I'm doing at all times. Um, plasma rifle, most likely we're not going to be using that, although it's 15 damage, 25 heat. We're two tons. Where do we pick this up from? I don't know where we got this from. Carries 10 rounds. Well, let's hang on to it. Um, heavy PPC. I mean, it's the same as the clan ER PPCs. Although we are over 300,000 already, maybe I should just hold off. We've got four tags. We don't need four tags. Let's sell two of those. Um, Thunderbolt we'll hang on to just for now. Not a big fan of the Thunderbolt though. Core 170, we can sell one of these guys. Um, I think we should be okay for now. We'll just keep the rest of the stuff. Keep the ammo. Okay, so not bad. 575,000. We're good for a month or so. Um, let's finish these, getting these mechs repaired here and we'll have a look at the contracts. Maybe decide what we're going to do next time. I wrapped up that job you asked so me. let's have a look at the contracts in the command center here. Once again, we'll just switch over to the barracks really quick and check our mech warriors and then come back here. Allow them time to refresh. Once they populate, that is. If they populate. Hello. There we go. Alright, so let's go... Wow, half skull seek and destroy. <laughs> let's go here. Come on. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully we are able to raise a couple skills up. Alright, so blank spare. Gonna raise your guts up. Get some more health. Now, flatliner. Uh, we wanted to go tactics on him because we wanted to get a better call shot bonus with those uh, missiles. Get some better headshots. Yes. Uh, ground Zero. I think we're going to leave him as is. I mean, we could go for another... Um, hmm, oh, I like the heat generate The heat... Uh, minus 5% heat generation on this. So let's take Guts. Definitely going to need that with that really hot mech we have. So let's, let's go th that route. Um, height... I think we're going to save up, maybe get some more gunnery, or just continue along the piloting line with him. Standing by. Uh, payroll, let's get some piloting. Training confirmed, Commander. And vein Commander. skater, what do we got here? Oh, some more gunnery, which we're going to need, I think, with the uh, hunchback. So I'm going to put him in the hunchback. Or we could go for minus 5% heat generation, but I'm thinking... Mm, gunnery or heat generation? Heat generation is not going to be that big a deal because we're not generating like 100 heat get only takes 5 off, right? So he's at 60 heat, so it's only going to take like 3 off. It's not really worth it. It's like one heat sink worth. So let's go for the better chance to hit, Training I think. Alright, so we're going to go that route. And let's have a look at our command center again. Let's find out what contracts we got going on. Alright, so lots of two skull missions here. Um, we want to try and flip this from House Steiner to House Merrick. So I'm thinking, ooh, weapon ship, 522, ambush convoy, that's one we can do. It's perfect for long range weapons. Heavy lure is another one we could probably do. Um, I'm not going to go to three skulls yet until I figure out what the lance um, strength is, but we can definitely do weapon shipment next time. Um, Ambush convoy should be pretty easy, I think. Or we could do repossession and go with a battle. Um, falling behind on payments for their armored vehicles. Now, I have a hard time doing these missions sometimes because the vehicles are usually really... Like the vehicles that you're trying to repossess are usually one level above where you are. So facing medium and heavy vehicles, especially if you get like an SRM carrier or an LRM carrier, is not really my idea of a fun time. But we're going to do weapon shipment, I think, next time when we come back. Um, so right now, we've got our mechs up and running. Almost a full medium lance. 11 days till financial report, and we're doing pretty good with, with cash. So we're going to come back next time uh, and handle that um, 
Ambush Convoy mission. But until then, I'm going to see you all later.